it's not there and then it's there like all of a sudden it's there and you're like well yeah it just feels so normal when you manifest it because you've been like programming your brain for it but then it's like when you look back like yeah it wasn't there for so long now it's here my manifestation is here you always want to add or better when you're scripting because you want to let that probability of something better coming to you you want that to be open right leave that door open hello my beautiful souls welcome back to my channel again we are having some audio issues so i'm going to do this introduction to this video this way today we're going to talk about scripting and how to manifest anything with scripting if you're new here welcome to the channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell right next to it to get notified whenever i post a new video also let me know since when you have been subscribed to me because i have seen quite a few new people here and i want to know how long you have been subscribed to me whether you're an og or whether you're new here let me know in the comments down below and let's get right into the video luckily we didn't miss anything major i was just talking about the reticular activating system which is a part in your brain that actually helps you manifest and this is why scripting and writing your goals down and your desires down to manifest them it's like you're see you're you're focusing on it and because you you've written it down it activated a part in your brain you're more more focused on it and there's parts in your brain that are going to search in the outer reality to your brain is always trying to work for you like even if you have you know limiting beliefs your brain is actually working your reticular activating system is working on showing you experiences in your outer reality that solidify that belief so it's like let's say a person is very mistrusting and believes that you know all men or all women are liars and cheaters they're going to attract these situations even if the person didn't cheat on them they're going to come into situations where the where they don't trust the person or they find the person doing something that you know, it ends up being misinterpreted, but the way that they interpreted it, it was like, you know what I mean? And your brain's always trying to work for you. That's why we have to set it up to work for us in positive ways and not in negative ways. So actually, we're going to do a fun task right now to see how fast you can manifest. So I want you to close your eyes and I want you to take some deep breaths. I want you to take some deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Take at least three of these, relax, focus on the now moment, come into your center and just forget about everything that's going on. And I want you to visualize a white rose. Visualize holding it in your hand, smell it, look at the petals, you can touch the petals, the texture of it, see the thorns on the rose, see the beautiful pattern of the rose feel how it feels between your fingers and your hands maybe touch the leaves and just feel so much love and appreciation for this rose just love it give it love feel how happy you are to be able to hold such a beautiful rose in your hands Smell it one last time and come back to center and you can open your eyes. So the reason I have done this test with you right now is that because you've done this test, I want to show you how fast you can manifest. Chances are high that after you watch this video, you're going to see white roses everywhere. Call it the reticular activating system, call it the law of attraction, it's gonna happen for you. At when, and when it happens, I want you to come back to this video and comment that you've seen the rose so that other people can see that this actually works and how fast it can work as well. Also, when you do this right before falling asleep, it's going to be 100 times more powerful. Um, why did I use a rose? Because a white rose 
First of all, a red ro rose is a lot more easy to manifest because it's a lot more common, right? That's why we're using a white one. Um, why a rose? Because there's no like, there's no resistance. If I would tell you like, focus on a billion dollars, you'd be like, I, I can't do this. Like, I can't manifest this just like that, right? So let's just think about something that you have no resistance toward, towards that feels really fun and, and joyful to imagine. Um, and again, I want you to come back to this video and comment when you've seen the rose. You may be seeing the white, white rose on your phone, like on Instagram. That counts as well. Um, in real life, you may get a bouquet of flowers. Whatever it is, let me know because it's just so exciting. Every time I do this exercise with people, they're blown away. I'm going to take a second to interrupt my own video here. And I want to talk about my Abundance Queen Academy. If you feel like you have these recurring patterns in your life, um, or if you feel stuck manifesting, or if you feel like there's like limiting leaps, like you've been trying to manifest, but there's all these fears that come up. There are all these blocks that come up and you just, you feel like you need a little push, I highly invite you to join Abundance Queen Academy. It's a one-time payment. You get access a lifetime. Plus I always add to the program over and over again. So as I expand in my capacity to teach, like the program is just a living library. My members in the program have seen so many amazing transformations. There's actually one person that messaged me telling me that she was in therapy for years and she hadn't had the breakthrough with years of therapy that she has had by just taking the course and just like working, like doing the exercises, even in the first module, she has had the biggest breakthroughs um, and released so many blocks and people just see raises, new job opportunities, manifesting money out of nowhere, um, tax return money. Like it's, it's just crazy the things that my members message me and I love it. So if you want to join, I'll put the link right here. Um, and down below. It is a program that I would have wanted to have when I just got started. I just want to help all of you manifest your biggest desires because the only thing that is in the way of you manifesting your desires is some type of fear. You can call it a block, you can call it resisting thoughts, but behind it, like there's only two main emotions. One is love, the other is fear. All other emotions are just like a variation of that emotion, if that makes sense. I'm just going to leave this here. You can join. I also have a free abundance guide if you want to just like dip your toes in. It's completely free. I'll put it down below. So be sure to check that out. I also have my manifesting accelerator. It's only 33 euros. So you got nothing to lose, everything to gain. And that's what we're all about here on this channel win-win. And again, I want to talk about non-attachment and being detached from the desire because you're going to do this exercise and you're probably going to forget about it until you see the rose and then it's like, whoa. Um, because non-attachment is so important. Sometimes we want something so bad that we end up putting so much resistance toward it. That's why non-attachment is so important. Being detached from the outcome, putting it out there, letting God the universe, whatever you identify with, know what you want, like setting that intention and then just letting it go. A-type personalities like I am, we always want to be in control. We always want to have a sense of control of things and that's not how manifesting works. <laughs> if you want me to make a video on non-detachment, non-attachment, staying detached, let me know because I feel like that's something we all sometimes struggle with. Let me know in the comments if you want me to create that video for you guys. I went off on a tangent here. Back to scripting. Stick to the end of this video to find out how you can actually script your desires, how to do it. Um, but first, how did I actually achieve my desires with scripting? So a few years back, actually many years back, I decided to, I heard about scripting and I decided to let my imagination run wild. I didn't come from money, like my parents never had money to support me. I always had to work everything that I have in my life, I have achieved and I have worked for myself. If you have been lucky enough to have parents that can support you or have a husband that supports you, that's amazing. In my case, like if you would have seen my first apartment, it was just, it was one room. Like the kitchen, 
the bedroom, the salon, like the living room, the eating table, my cat's litter box, it was all in one room, okay? Everything in my outer reality said that this was not possible. Like I did not have the income, I was broke, I had no money, I was a student back then and you know, manifesting wasn't really, no one talked about manifesting, Instagram didn't really exist and so I just um, started to let my imagination run wild and I wrote down like in so much detail, I don't know why I did this and some details where I'm like why did I even, even write this down but so I wrote down that I was living in this beautiful house, my dream house that had these huge, um, huge, huge ceilings. Um, my ceilings actually go up more than five meters high um, with these huge bay windows, marble floors, um, chandeliers, a, what's that called? Have, I'm having a language barrier. Um, a column, is it called, is it called a column? I don't know. Even that I manifested, um, sheepskin rugs, I wanted something modern, um, and I just let my, I did not limit myself, I let my imagination run wild. And I don't know why I wrote this detail down, but I wrote down that I wanted a view in the, of the mountains in the back and a view of the sea in the front, which is crazy because that's exactly what I'm having right now. Um, and I didn't like I didn't actively look for that. I wasn't searching for that because if you live on the French Riviera, you know how expensive a sea view is. You know how expensive just houses are in general. It's crazy, um, renting or buying. I'm living in that exact place today. Actually, when I was first visualizing it, I was visualizing it more as like a penthouse. It's a house now. I prefer houses. God will always give you better than what you want. Actually, two years after I wrote that down, I was living in that exact house. So it doesn't have to take long. It really doesn't. And actually, one year after I had written that down, here's the hiccup in the story. Um, I had found this amazing apartment. It was so beautiful. It was like my dream apartment. And so I was thinking about getting that apartment. Um, I ended up not getting it, which was fine. But here's the, here's the thing. I, w I wrote down, when I saw that apartment, I wrote down, I'm living in this apartment or better. You always want to add or better when you're scripting because you want to let that probability of something better coming to you, you want that to be open, right? You want that door, leave that door open because sometimes we want something, but God has something so much better in store for us, right? So I wrote that down and one year later, I... I get this house and actually I find out that that exact apartment is like one block away from this house. Like it's, we're like neighbors almost. I was so close to it but I didn't see it at that time. So sometimes we're so close to a manifestation and it can seem like, you know, I could have been discouraged like I didn't get this apartment, like I wanted it, why didn't it happen? These ravens are savage. Why didn't it happen? But in the end, if I look back, like God has something so much bigger in store for me. And you know, in the end, when I was writing that down, I didn't know how it would happen. I did not have the money to afford such a house at that time. I had no idea how it would happen, how it would come to pass, but it did. And that's all we, like we don't have, we have to stop trying to figure out the how. Raise your hand if you're always trying to figure out the how. But yeah, I wrote it down once. I wrote it down for 20 minutes. I let it go and that was so it. How do you actually script? You want to write it down on paper with a pen. Let your imagination run wild. Remember, the only limits that we have are the ones that we have in our mind. There are no limits. The only reason why you can't achieve something is because in your mind, you believe that you cannot achieve it. If you believe that you can achieve it, you will. If you have that conviction inside of you that you will achieve it, then it's going to happen. And it doesn't even have to be this like 100% yes conviction. Like if I'm gonna tell you stand up right now and jump, you know that you can jump, right? You have that conviction that like, yeah, I can stand up and I can jump. Unless you're sick or you have like a physical condition that doesn't allow you to jump like, apart from these exceptions, you can stand up and you can jump, 
right? So that's a conviction, but it doesn't have to be like 100% conviction. The Bible says, if you just have faith the size of a mustard seed, a mustard seed is the smallest seed that there exists. Just have a little faith. You know, you don't have to be 100% convinced, but just be open. That's so important. Be open and try not to have resisting thoughts around it. Just let it go. So you want to write it down, go into great detail. If you want to manifest $10,000, make it 100000 Go big. Don't limit yourself. Make it 100000 and then write down or more or better. Always write down or better. And you want to write it down as if you're writing it down in the present tense. After you've written everything down, you want to write down how you're feeling. I feel amazing. I feel so relieved that I can live this life. I ha I'm so confident now. I'm so happy. I feel so loved. Just write down how you would feel. If you want to, you can set a date. You know, I have this and that by then. I don't like to set dates because timing really is up to God. We never know when or how it, it happens, but if you feel confident, go for it. If that doesn't like, if it makes you feel limited, don't do it. If you feel confident, if you're the type of person that works well and you're like time pressure, then do it. Like you can customize this. I do not work well under time pressure. I never add a date. Um, it's so crazy when things manifest, like it's not there and then it's there. Like all of a sudden it's there and you're like, well, yeah, I was manifesting this. This is normal. It, it just feels so normal when you manifest it because you've been like programming your brain for it. But then it's like, when you look back, like, yeah, it wasn't there for so long. Now it's here. My manifestation is here. I hope this was helpful. If you want to go further, I highly recommend you join Abundance Queen Academy. I will leave it in the description down below. Also, I highly recommend you watch How I Manifested My Dream Life next. If you haven't seen that video yet, I will put it right here. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to give this video a like and I will talk to you soon.